Hiya guys, Spectre here. A um, bit of a different video than normal. It's not going to be a gaming video, but gaming related I suppose. Um, it's a peek behind the um, little analytic window of six of my videos. I'm going to show the analytics of three videos that were like heavily promoted by YouTube and three that weren't. Three that were like given the average amount of um, attention or below average in some cases. But I will also show you the watch time retention. Because a lot of people have said that the watch time retention is one of the most important things on YouTube. And that's basically how long or how much percent people watch your video of. And a lot of people have varying degrees on this. Some say 60% or above is good. Some say 70. I've not heard anyone say 80 or 90 because that sounds ridiculous. Because I very much doubt that most videos on the platform are going to get that. And I don't believe there's a video out there that's going to get 100%. You're not going to get somebody watch every single second start to finish. It's fucking an impossibility. It's just not going to happen. So, we'll get into it. So, this is video one. This is Scorn Part 9. Um, this one got 1,800 views or 1,772 since it was released. 35.5 watch time hours. You know, these are good for a channel my size. I've only recently got above 1,500 subscribers. When these went off, I think I was at like... 600 or something, five, 600. Um, now, this is when YouTube promoted it. This video at the time was about 55% average view duration, or 55% average average percentage viewed. It's gone up to 3.1, which is the lowest on my channel by far, and one minute and 12 seconds watched. I don't understand why it says 120% over here either, because I do watch 20% more than there is of the video. The maximum you could watch is 100%. There is no 120. Now, what we'll also look at is the reach. Now, impressions, as it says here, the number of times your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since the video was published. Now, to go a bit further into that, impressions are counted as when they see 50% or more of your thumbnail for at least one second. That's what YouTube states. Um, the average on YouTube is between 2 and 10%. 10% being the higher end considered really good. 2% of the lower end being considered like your average. It's okay. Below 2% is bad. So 4.1%. This one for my channel is still doing quite reasonable. It's not doing bad. And that's Scorn Part 9. Well, now go on to a good video. This one is Helldivers Funny Moments Part 1. Got 129 views, nowhere near as many as the other one that got almost 2,000. 17.3 watch time hours. Now, one of the differences is this minute is 8 minutes and 45 seconds long. That video is 37 minutes and 37 seconds. But this one has got 8 minutes and 2 average view duration with a 92% watch time retention. Which was, it, well, sorry, it's now the highest on my channel, it was the second highest. The highest was a video above 93%, which was the last part of Outlast Trials. And that is now that was promoted by YouTube, and that's now below, I think, like 7%. Because I don't know what it is exactly. And I'm hoping, I'm going to ask a question towards the end of the video. And see if some of you guys can answer this question either in the comments or just reach out to me in some way. I've got, I've got my email on my main page. Because whenever YouTube seems to promote a video at least from my channel, the watch time attention goes to shit. So all that tells me is they're putting it in front of the wrong audience. They're not putting it in front of the right people. I had one guy from one of my other videos, not one of these ones, and it was, it was sent it to him, and the guy's a gardener. He watches content about gardening, but they sent him a gaming video. So I think sometimes you must just have like a wild card bubble and they just chuck shit everywhere, seeing if anything sticks. Because I, why would you send a gaming video to a fucking gardener? He spends his time outside tending plants, not watching game videos. The guy might not even have a computer. It, it pff, baffling me. That's like you'd throw it to a person like that if you want the video to fail, not the video to succeed. And if that's the case, and the algorithm needs serious to fucking fixing. Because that's bad. <laughs> and what I'm going to show you today, some of it, proves how bad. This is Scorn Part 10. 
because the, the three scrolling videos are all quite heavily promoted. I don't know why. They just got picked up for some reason in March and just got thrown around. The revenue part, ignore really, because I wasn't actually earning AdSense until June. That's when I got I got act to access to monetization in June. So all these videos, I wasn't even on the monetization program. I got access to memberships in May, and then in June, I got access to ad revenue. So these will have all been and had their like moment before that came along. But almost 2,200 on this one, 2,179, 68.4 watch time hours. Average read duration, 1 minute and 53 seconds, with the average percentage at 4.5%. Not quite as bad as the first one, but still bloody bad. And my, and my channel average is like, I'd say between 35 and 50% in that ballpark there. There are some that will fall under it, most that will fall in that margin, and some that will go above it. Um, reach, 31,700 impressions, 5.4% click-through rate. So, pretty good on the impressions, at least for my channel. I mean, what did we check this one? This one, oh, I didn't check that. Has only got 802. So it's got 92% watch time retention and only 802 impressions. And it's got a click-through rate of 6.4%. Which, by YouTube standard, is good. Because between the 2 and 10%, it's fucking over halfway there. With 129 views. So why isn't this one being promoted if it's over 92% watch time retention? I don't get it. Um, this one, Poppy Playtime. Um, I think this was the last part of the, the first Poppy Playtime. 151 views. 22.2 watch time hours. 8 minutes 50 seconds average view duration. 83.8 watch time percentage. Absolutely insane. I mean, when you get in an almost straight line like that, ridiculously good. And for that many views, that's like 10% of my channel now, my channel subscribers as views, which is really good. Because you look at most YouTube channels out there, the average video won't get 10% of their subscribe base. Some will get more, some will get less. But on average, they won't get 10% of their subscribers as viewers you look at a channel at 10 million they're not getting a million views a video very unlikely some of them they probably will but the vast majority won't be they're going to be somewhere in the hundreds of thousands but they're not going to be getting even 10 percent um that, that's just how youtube is youtube's like high average is 10 percent some channels might overly exceed but i guarantee most don't um, but again, really high watch time percentage, not really being promoted that well by YouTube. 1,900 impressions. Now, this one's doing bad on the click-through rate, probably because of the thumbnail. But 1.7% click-through rate. But only 2,000 impressions for a video that has 83.8% watch time attention, which has got to be well above the YouTube average. Like, massively. Again, kind of weird. Don't understand it. The last score on one. 2,500 views. 2,531, it says there. 65.5 watch time hours. 1 minute and 33 seconds view duration. At a 9.6% average. And this one is a shorter video. It's only 13 minutes and 31 seconds. That one's 10 minutes and 33 that one was 38 minutes and 10 seconds. That was quite long. This one is a short video by comparison. But YouTube again promoted the fuck out of it. And this went to shit. This one, I believe at the time, was at like 71% watch time retention. It went from 71% down to this after YouTube promoted it. And what did they do? 33,200 impressions. 6.3% on the click-through rate. So the thumbnail actually did its job of, like, getting people in, but the people who watched it watched fuck all. But before before they promoted it, where I think it had, like, 250 views, something like that, 225, 250, some of that ballpark, it had 71% watch time retention. Then YouTube promotes it, and... 
less than 10%? How does it drop 60%? What are they promoting it to? Who are they showing it to? See, these, this is information I'd like to know. I'd like to know who it's being shown to. Because it, it can tell me where in the world, if they're male or female, who is seeing the video that's watching 1 minute and 33 seconds. I, I don't do much of anything for 1 minute and 33 seconds. Maybe if it's a video that's 2 minutes long, or 3 minutes long and you've watched half, but, uh, and it's not like 13 minutes is a long video either. No fucking clue. Absolutely none. I don't get it. The last video, this is the, one of the Outlast Trials ones. Another one. This one's got 70 views. Not bad. Not bad for my channel, to be fair with you. I'm, especially this summer. This summer's been particularly shit. 13.8 um, watch time hours. But... 12 minutes and 32 seconds average duration at 80.7. And it's a 15 minute and 32 second video. That's a pretty good, decent goddamn line. And as it shows you in grey here, this is like my typical. It shows in some cases. I'm not sure how it equates this actually, because obviously my videos vary in length. Because my shorter videos can sometimes do a lot better than the longer ones for obvious reasons because they're shorter. Um, but only 782 impressions, 3.7% click through rate, which is still above, again, in that 2 to 10% average of YouTube that they give you. But where's the rest of the impressions? It's over 80% watch time retention. And. They've given me less than 800 impressions. You know, try any less hard sort of thing. Fucking hell. Um, but the question I wanted to ask, since we're coming towards the end of the video, is if there's anyone out there who watches it or who's in the comment section, do you know anything more about the analytics of YouTube? What drives them to promote a video? Like, is it on the watch time retention? Because I've got a lot of videos on my channel, probably more than 70, that are above the 70% mark. Some above 80%, and then I've got one above 90%. I've got a lot of videos that could be promoted that are definitely above that 70% mark, and that have anything from 70 to a couple hundred views in the, the ballpark, and... YouTube doesn't really promote them. They get fuck all impressions for whatever reason, despite the fact their retention is really goddamn good, which should emphasise that it's a good video. That's how YouTube measure that, apparently. Um, but then also, why is it when YouTube promote a video? Sure, you get thousands of views, probably get some more subscribers, but then your retention goes to absolute shit. It, it, it's like someone snowboarding and you're going up a hill and then you just go off a cliff. And it's like, who are they promoting it to? What is the, the demographic or the people they're targeting there? Why does it go from 70% down to 7? That, that's, that's a fall, until I saw these analytics myself, unheard of. You don't go from 70% to 7. Unless they're putting it out to people who just don't watch gaming videos. It's a gaming channel. The audience should be pretty fucking simple. One, do they watch gaming videos on YouTube? That would be the first key indicator. Two, have they watched anything to do with that particular game? Or, actually, that genre. So if it says it's a horror game, have they watched any horror gaming videos? That would be a second one. The third one would be that specific game. Do they watch anything to do with Outlast? Do they watch anything to do with Poppy Playtime? Do they watch anything to do with Helldivers? If they watch something to do with those videos, they'll probably watch the content. But if you're giving it to a gardener, or somebody who wants finance, or has a fucking air traffic controller, probably gonna make the goddamn graph dip a hell of a lot when they don't watch gaming goddamn content. So I don't understand what the algorithm's doing. It's supposed to be good at this. Apparently not for smaller channels. At least from what I can see. 
because I've got videos that are performing extremely well in the retention, and then when YouTube promotes them, they like, might as well be in the dumpster after they're done promoting them. How hard is it to get the right demographic for a gaming video? It's a game. You just put it in front of people who've watched that type of content. It couldn't be simpler. I don't understand. It's like if somebody was doing a football video, and not a football game, just like a football match. You'd put it in front of somebody who, one, watches sports, two, watches football, and then three, might watch that specific team, or the teams on the field. How, how fucking difficult is that? But they can fuck it up this badly with a gaming video? I do playthroughs and let's plays. The content's fairly fucking simple to put it in front of the right people. When they're watching a minute and 30 seconds, they're not the right people. Not even close. So I, I don't know what it is when they promote videos. It's really strange. But if anyone knows why some videos have attention don't get promoted, and then why when they do get promoted, the retention goes in the toilet, if you could reach out to me and let me know, I'd be curious. Or if you've got any similar results from your channel yourself. Because this doesn't make any sense to me at all. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care, everyone. And have a great day.